Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing the today's coding question which were asked in Accenture exam. So today is 9th of August. Two coding questions were asked in the slot one. So both of these questions I will be discussing in this particular video. So guys, you will be thinking that sir, today exam was for 2024 batch or 2025 batch. So today 2024 batch off campus was there. And I know 2025 batch on campus dates are also announced. So you will be also starting getting the uh, assessment mails. Okay. So make sure that you're watching this video in the end. Two coding questions were asked in the slot one. So I'll be discussing both of them. So don't skip any part of this video. And guys, do join our Telegram group. That is for 2025 batch, especially because there are a lot of discussions regarding Accenture Infosys exams are going on on campus discussion. So make sure that you are joining this particular group. The link of this group you will find in the description box. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit that like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel because I will be discussing the question approach as well as the coding part of this particular or all for all the questions. So now let's start the video. And before starting, do hit that like button. Okay, so guys, the first question is you are on a hiking trial represented by an array A and length N, where the trial initially ascends and then descends, forming a single peak. Your task is to find and return an integer value representing the elevation of the summit. So, input will be an integer array of A, then an integer value N representing the size of the array, then the output is a return an integer value representing the elevation of the summit. So I know by just by reading the question, you are not understanding it. Let's just understand with the help of the example. So we are given an array 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the question here is saying the array represents the uh, you are uh, walking on a hilly area. Okay. So it represents the uh, ascents and descents. So first the array will be ascending, then the array will be descending and you will have to find the peak of that array. So if you will see, so 1, then 2 then 3 then 4 these represent the height then 3 then 2 then 1 so first the array will be ascending then the array will be descending so you will have to find the element in which uh, we will have to find the element that is the peak okay in the question there is given that there will be always a peak in the there will always be a single peak in the array and always the peak will be given to you okay so i hope this particular thing is clear to you Okay, so in this particular array, if you will see 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is the 4 is the peak. So we will have to return 4 as the output. We have to return the element that is forming the peak. In every array, first ascending thing will happen. Then the descending thing will happen. And only a single peak will be formed in every output or input. Okay, let's just see with the help of another input. So first I have told you the array will be ascending, then descending. So first is 5 and then is 3. See, here ascending part is not given to you. Here the ascending part is not given to you. So we can consider that, okay, ascending was some, somewhat less than 5. So here you can see descending part is given. So if descending part is only given, then the first element of the array will always be the peak of the array. Okay. And there is one more possible cases that if you have only the ascending part that is given to you in the array. Let's suppose this is the array 1, 2, 3, 4. In this case, you can see that only the ascending part is given to you. No descending part is given to you. And in every array, we know that only a single peak will be formed. So we can assume that since at 4 the array is ending, so after that it will start to descend. So 4 will be the 4 will be the answer for this particular question. So if the ascending and descending both part of the array will be given, then there will be a element that will be present on that is that uh, for those elements where both the elements on the right and left are small, that will be considered as peak. If only an array that is given which is in ascending or ascending order then the element that is last of that array will be the output if an array is given where it is always descending in nature so therefore the array at the first element of that array will be considered okay i hope now the question and with the respect of input and output are clear to you now let's just quickly go towards the approach of this question and see how we can do it okay now guys let's see so this is the input array that is given to us one two three four four three two one so first in by reading the question it is clear to assume that there will be always a single peak that will be formed. It will not be like this that there are two peaks. And once single peak is forming, we have to return this element that is forming the peak. So it is again safe to assume that once the array elements will be ascending, they will keep on ascend then a dis uh, till descending begins. So once there are ascending elements, they will keep on ascending till the descending begins. 
once the descending begins then the remaining elements of the array will always be in the descending order okay will always be first ascending will start then once descending is starting so always be in the descending order so only a single peak that will be formed and that, that has to be returned here okay i hope it is clear to you now if again i have told you if we are only given the ascending uh, elements in the array then it, it is safe to assume that after the last element descending will be starting so in that case we have to return the last element if we have only given the descending elements so it is safe to assume that before this element there were some elements in which ascending was happening so in this case if only descending elements are given then we have to return the first element of the array so if you will see that how to find the peak element how to find the peak element so this element this element will be con will be checked with its previous element and with its next element so if this current element is less than both of this previous element as well as the next element then it means that this is the peak of the array so this is the case where both both ascending and descending uh, elements are given but if only ascending elements are given and only descending elements are given in the array so in the case of ascending elements we will first have to check whether the last element whether the last element is less than whether the last element is less than the previous element okay because since see it is the uh, uh, it is the last element oh, so it is the ascending array only so we have to check whether the last element is less than the uh, previous element so if this is the case then it means that only the asc ascending elements are given so this will we will simply return similarly in this case we have to first check in the descending one that is the first element greater than the next element is it greater than the next element so if this is the case it means that now descending has started so and ascending are not present so it means that current element is only the peak element so I hope this particular thing is clear to you. Now let's just quickly see the approach. It will be quite straightforward. So approach will be okay. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. We have. So we will start from this element because we have to check the previous and next element. We will check whether this element is greater than the uh, greater than this element and this element. So answer is no. So two is less than three. So this means this is not the peak element. Then again for three we will check whether it is greater than this element as well as greater than this element so answer is no so three is not greater than four so this is also not the peak element then at four we will again check whether this element is less greater than this element or and it is better than this element so answer is yes so four is greater than both the threes okay so this will be the peak element we will return this peak element and always in in the array in the input always there will be one peak element and their peak element will be present whether it is the first element or not and if we now consider that there is an array given where only the ascending elements are given so in this case the condition we will be, we will be so first of all we will check whether the last element is greater than the previous element whether the last element is greater than the previous element or not if this is the case simply return the last element and if only ascending descending elements are given so we will simply check that whether the first element is greater than the next element so in this case yes it is this so we'll return this so if you will try to do these two if you will try to uh, perform these two things on this particular array you you will not find this so whether the last element whether the last element is greater than the next element so no okay and in this if you will check this condition on this array so you can see that whether the first element is greater than the next element so answer is no so therefore these two conditions can only be checked whether whether only if a ascending or descending array is given to you. So I hope now the entire approach is also clear to you. Now let's let just quickly move towards the coding part so that the things become more clear to you. Okay. And before moving ahead, do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because it gives us immense motivation for making more such videos. And do join this Telegram group because it is specifically for 2025 batch students since Accenture hiring will be starting. So a lot of discussions will be happening on this group. So do join it. Okay. So now let's move towards the coding part. Okay, so guys, for saving time, I've already written the code, and in Accenture, you only have to implement the function. I have confirmed it today also. So uh, n that is the number of elements in the array, and v that is that array will be given to you. First, you will have to check whether the size of the array is zero or not. So these are the base cases. See, you write the main logic, but you forgot the base cases. So again, one or two test cases will be failing. So it's simple. So n double if the array of size is zero, then return zero. If the size of the array is one only, that is, it means it has a single element only. So if single element is there, then it will be only the peak of the element, peak of the array. So return v of zero if there is a single element. Then I have told you to check ascending order and descending order. So for checking the descending order, you will have to check that whether the first element is greater than the second element. Okay. If that is the case, then return the first element. And for checking the ascending array, we will have to check whether the last element is greater than the 
second last element if, if that is the case then return the last element only so these were the base cases for ascending array and descending array then if you are reaching this line 20 it means that there is no uh, there is uh, there is both ascending as well as descending order present for the elements you will loop through the first element as i have told you till the second last element you will be looping for every element you will be checking that whether the current element is greater than the previous element and whether the current element is greater than the next element so if this condition is satisfied that it means that you are at the peak of that array so if you are at the peak of the array you will simply have to return the current element that is v of i okay so you will just return it from here only and you will be getting the answer so let's just run it for some inputs so 7 we are giving so 1 2 3 4 then there is a descending array starting okay so let's just see if it gives the output or not so yeah 4 is the peak of the element let's just see if we can give some more inputs also so 1 2 then the descending starts so 1 2 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so in this case also 2 should be returned as a peak of the peak of the array okay so let's just see yeah so 2 is the peak of the array and let's just see now with the ascending and descending array so 5 so far let's just start with ascending array so here 5 should be returned as the answer let's just see if returns 5 is the answer now let's just see for the descending array so 5 4 3 2 1 so here again 5 should be the answer that is the first element of the array so this will also pass i am pretty much sure okay so you can see it is passed so that's this particular test case will uh, this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you but again i am telling you this is not necessary that the same question will be asked from you there might be some modification to this question also so just do read the question carefully so that you does not confuse this question with that question and made this make the changes accordingly so i hope all the things of this question was clear to you with approach uh, okay code as well as the question so if you are finding this video informative do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and do join this telegram group since lot of hiring regarding accenture are happening so lot of discussions will be happening here only so i hope all these things are clear to you now let's just move towards the next question okay so guys now let's just discuss the next question it is very on the like it is on slightly on the easier side so you are given a string integer n and a string s your task is to find and return new string which consists of the original string repeated n times let us quickly move towards the input so there is n is given as 3 and uh, there is another input of str that is given as abc so what is what should be a new string new string should be a string that should be repeated n times so abc first time then abc first time then abc first time so our original string got repeated three times so this is a new string that is given to us okay this is again a very simple question so abc was given to us as input so it has to repeat three times so abc abc and abc okay so i hope now the question is clear to you approach is very simple we will just run a for loop for loop of uh, of n times and we will keep on adding the original string okay uh, original string to the new string let's just quickly move towards the coding part of it you can see here again you have to only implement the function c plus plus i am coding so str uh, new uh, original string will be input n will be input we will be looping through okay we will be looping through the and we will create a new string that is initialized with empty and we will keep on adding the new string n times towards the into a new string so and we will simply return answer to it if you will check by running the test case so abc3 and we will run it so answer will be abc abc and abc okay so this was a question on this side easier side because see you have 45 minutes to solve two coding questions so one will be easy one will be medium so i hope this question is clear too let's just run with one more example let's just suppose q and it should run six times so q should run six times so there will be six queues that you can see on the output so yeah six queues are there so again it will pass all the test cases that will be given to you but again don't just rely on this solution the question that will be coming to you might be a modification of this question so don't just blindly copy paste this question just first read the question understand it and then only write this solution so i hope these two questions that i have discussed in this particular video are clear to you do join the Shairam group. It's very much important for you also that you will be getting each and every update on the Accenture hiring in this particular group only. I will give you the link of this group in the i button or in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. Do join this group.